Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I dropped a video, but I wanted to just go over this keyword called continue. And the question goes, what is continue? Now this is a question that I've been asked on an interview a while back. I wouldn't say that this is a fairly common question, um, but it's basically a concept that I just wanted to go over. So I just decided to create, you know, just a short little video explaining exactly what the continue keyword is all about. So, the continue keyword is basically a keyword that causes the loop to immediately jump to the next iteration of the loop. So, if we look at an example right here, what we have here is an array. Inside this array, we have an array of strings. And as you see, we have the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now, what I've done here is pretty much just created a for loop. Inside of this for loop, what we're doing, we're iterating, well, with this for loop, we're pretty much iterating through every element within this array that we have here. And if we go actually inside of this loop, we have an if conditional statement. And this if conditional is going to check for an element at a particular position inside of this array. And if that element is equal to D, what we're going to do is use the continue keyword. Now, what this is going to do as I said before, is going to jump to the next iteration of the loop. You know, so it's basically to just immediately jump to the next iteration of the loop. So um, ultimately, if we were to run this code, what we would get uh, with the system.out.println would be every element printed out except this D right here, this letter D. So if we were to actually execute this, this is what we would get. We would get A, B, C, E, F, G, and H. And as I said before, the reason why we're getting this as the output instead of every letter would be because of this continue keyword. So basically, to just go over it one more time, we know that this for loop is going to iterate through every element within this array. But this conditional statement is basically stating that if the array at position i, so once it's making its way through this loop, if the um, array list at position 3, which is d right here, so if we have array at position 3, which we know is going to be equal to d, then we're going to immediately jump to the next iteration of this loop and not even executing this part of the loop, this system that out that print ln. And that's pretty much what the continue keyword is all about. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And what I wanted to do is just create a short video explaining what the continue keyword is, is, about, is all about, pretty much. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.